Okay, this is my ballad moment of um, Eurovision 2018. Um, I, I think this song might even make me cry on the night. I don't know yet. Um, um, it it just it just gives me chills. Um, Yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, um, Eva was one of the acts um, that performed in Riga um, over the weekend, um, and um, she talked about how how the song, even even though she didn't write the song, about how the song was about um, eternal love and finding someone that you want to grow old with, and that that struck a chord with me, I think, and it made me think that I hope I. Um, find someone to grow old with too. You know? Um and I think I've got this second place in my ranking at the moment, although I haven't worked out my full ranking. Um and it has potential to be my number one, possibly. Oh um yeah, this is like one of those unfortunate songs that, you know, I, I can't, I, like, I don't know whether to put it in my top 10 or not because, like, I just got like about 15 songs that I want to put in my top 10, but I just can't. Um, yeah, same. Yeah, I'm, I, I've said it before that I think there's potential for a real moment here. Um, I, I kind of got like there was kind of like like little inklings of that in the in the national final I think and um, yeah that, <clears throat> yeah I think you know if the if the production team in Lisbon like really hone this in like this could like surprise people I think um I'm I'm a little bit worried about this song because of like where it is in the semi. Like I'm worried that they could, this could get crowded out. Like like the, on the plus side, it's got the UK and Ireland voting in its semi, and it's jury friendly, so maybe it can qualify after all. I do de- think it definitely deserves to qualify because I think it's it's a really cute song. I think. And it, it, I think it's easily the best song that Lithuania has sent in years. I think, and mm-hmm. yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, uh, mm. I, I, maybe maybe I'm just being a little bit pessimistic because this time last year I was really concerned about uh, Salvador's song, and of course <laughs> I was proved to be. Uh, rather wrong on that one uh thank god um maybe 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 that little same will happen with this one as well but um yeah um well yeah i have i have to say i'm i'm scared i was we were all burnt um hard last year by what happened with blackbird yeah and if 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 this song doesn't qualify i'll I will not be going out partying that night, let's just say. <laughs> oh, oh, I still got memories of that night. Like, like I still went out partying because I had reasons to be happy, but it's like I could not f- but feel really bad for you that night. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I took it I I took it not too bad considering, I think. Oh. Better, better than um, better than I handled Iceland not qualifying the year before. <laughs> oh, I cried! I cried that night. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm used to losing my favourites now. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. 
Oh, thank God my favourite is in the other semi, because otherwise I'd be papping it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Anne? Um, I find it quite interesting that you both said that you were worried about this song, because I'm I'm not worried about this qualifying at all. Oh. Uh, it's got, I think it's got too many friends. The, the problem is, is I don't like it. Oh. Um, <laughs> I, I, oh. I don't... Oh, there's something about her voice I don't like. I, d- I don't like the way she says when she goes when they're out. I just kind of go, oh, it's like oh, sorry, ear moment. <laughs> um, she's got that kind of um, kind of. I, I don't. I can't think of anybody off the top. Right, she's got that kind of hiccupy, kind of strange thing down that just I just don't like. Diana Vickers. Yes, yes, Diana Vickers, naughty knickers. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's that kind of voice that I just goes through me like, you know, nails on a chalkboard. Um, I mean, it's not it's not a bad song, and the lyrics are lovely, but I just it's just something I just don't get. But I think this should qualify quite easily. I, you know, unless they stick it next to something quite rambunctious or quite overpowering then they might have a slight issue but or or she sings it badly i don't think they'll have a problem mm. you see i i think i think there's potential for the producers thinking this in the running order and if they do then um i will yeah, that... I, I i've got a rant ready just oh. in case. <laughs> Oh, wow. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried about her vocally because um, at, at the Riga pre-party she was, you know, top notch. So, you know, I think everything should be fine in in that respect. Fingers crossed. Okay. So, anything else before we do the final scores of the week? One thing I would like just to say is that um, in um, London, a lot of my uh, the other night, a lot of my friends were at this um, preview vote thing. Oh, oh I yes, heard I've about seen... this. Yeah, and they watched they watched all the forty three um, songs and gave points, and they put Lithuania in the bottom five. Boo! Not that bad. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I I read those. I read what happened on Twitter, and um, yeah, I was. I shouldn't be surprised because it's an Ogai party, but still, like, come on. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna give this a four. Five. Two. Oh. <laughs> and the public. It's rather split down the middle. It's a three out of five from them. 